Brandon Williford is fighting out of Memphis, Tennessee. Um, weighing in at 205, and he's six foot, three inches tall. This guy's a monster. He's got a kickboxing record of six and four. He's fighting out of Clinchworks slash Phalanx. That's what the paper says. I, I'm not sure about actual weight. Because they said, well, just said it wasn't for the title. So. Rakim Tally is coming in at six feet one inch, weighing in at 205. <laughs> Fighting out of Dixon, Tennessee, in the Warriors' den, he's got an MMA record of seven and one. So he will not be defending his title. Not exactly sure what happened with the title defense. If someone missed weight, I believe, I believe they said it was uh, going to be more of like a catch weight. I don't know. Somebody must have missed weight, but um, the title is not on the line. We had a chance. We had a chance to talk to uh, Rakim at the weigh-ins, and he's ready for this fight. He said, "If this fight goes to the ground, it's his funeral." Is what he said. He'd... But he also said he was looking to showcase more of his stand-up in this fight. So maybe yeah. give like an exhibition of his punches and you know kicks and stuff. Yeah. Give it up for Todd Murray, okay? He's been running around this octagon for going on four and a half hours now, okay? That man, he's got if, he, if he's not a legend now, then he will be after these fights are over because- And then look at that. <laughs> look at that hip movement. Todd Murray, ladies and gentlemen, shutting that cage like a pro. Here it is, round one. Touch gloves Starting in the center. Off. Rakim diving in. Rakim with the single. Nice takedown. He's got him down. Um, Brandon Williford is in, they're in half guard right now. He's gonna need to pull that leg out and mount up. Rakim with some heavy shots from the top. Rakeem has some vicious ground and pound. About... Looking for a submission here. Looking for a Kimura. Someone's got him in a uh, crucifix there. Rakeem, uh, Rakeem with some heavy shots. Brandon is covering up. He's gonna have to answer something. Rakeem is putting some heavy pressure on Williford right now. He really doesn't have an answer for what Rakeem's doing. I mean, he's, he's... A lot of unanswered shots here. He's going to even try to get, it, get his hands out. Ref Todd Murray is looking close. 
Rakeem is just fighting his fight right now. This is exactly what he said going into it. He's gonna get him on the ground. If he does, he's gonna just punish him with some ground and pound. That's really what he's doing right now. Putting some, some heavy shots landed from the top by Rakeem. And Referee Todd it. Murray puts a stop to it in the Rakeem. first round. Brandon not happy with that call, but man, he really didn't have an answer for it. A lot of show of respect from the fighters here tonight. Yeah. Everybody came in prepared. Rakeem moves to eight and one. I feel like that was a good call in the stoppage too. I mean, he was really just taking shots and not even able to answer it. That you know? was my son that did the, uh, the uh, double nun jump thing out there. I've got that good footage of him. That was awesome, man. I'd like to see that one. That's very cool. Rakeem just showed a superior ground game. He took yeah. it down right from the beginning and made it his own fight. That's exactly what he said he was going to do when we talked to him yesterday. And I mean, he really just came out and just inflicted his will on him. Well, guys, that was an amazing night of fights. We're going to be back here in July. July 28th, they're going to have super heavyweight fights. It is going to be amazing. There's going to be over 700 pounds between the fighters collectively in the octagon. It's going to be absolutely nuts. Looks like we're going back with Todd Murray for the official announcement here. So with this win, Rakim may be looking to go pro after this at some point.